What is going on, Silver Screen Studios family? Um, my name is David. Um, this is kind of out of the ordinary um, because I don't have any shows I react to on Wednesday, but uh, if a lot of you are Arrowverse fans, you will probably understand why we are kind of having this emergency episode. Um, to give you guys some context, this video was going to be purely audio earlier because I was in nowhere near the mind state or emotional control to do this video. Um, so I'll give you a little preface to this. Um, it was about, uh, what was it, about 5 o'clock. Um, after smashing my phone, uh, shattering the screen today at the end of work, uh, I was at the cell phone, pulling into the cell phone place where I got a notification um, through the cracked glass I looked and it said Stephen Amell is live now and I was like I don't usually watch his videos I can watch nah, I don't usually catch his videos I'll, I'll catch his videos see what he's got to say you know it doesn't say like about knocking point or anything you know which is great wine don't get me wrong check out his wine um, so I pull it open and the first thing I see is Stephen Amell hey guys um, first I'm gonna have to turn off the comments otherwise I'm gonna cry and I was like, cry? And then I see a comment and it says, wow, must have been a hard day for you. And I was like, did I miss something in the news? Like, because my, my mind, at, you know, I was thinking about Luke, you know, my, I heard about Luke Perry the other day. My mind first went to, did a cast member die? Or was there an accident or something? You know, w what's going on? My mind did not go to cancellation because they had already been renewed. But uh, Stephen Amell went on to explain that uh, following the culmination of Season 7, Arrow will return in the fall of 2019 for a 10-episode run, which will be the final episodic serial of Arrow. And as he described this and as he talked about it, guys, I saw a man that I have idolized and both on screen and off screen has been a role model and a hero that I have always strived to be more like. Struggle to contain his emotions um, and tears as he explained that after long deliberation with uh, Greg Berlanti, Mark Guggenheim, Beth Schwartz, the uh, showrunners and executive producer and overall overlord of the CW Arrowverse, they had decided that season eight uh, would be the appropriate end for Arrow. Um, and at first I was distraught, just what? What do you mean? And to be honest, guys, I was worried about this coming because um, Mark uh, Mark Pedowitz, the president of the CW, had made an announcement after all the renewals that one of the shows that had been renewed had been renewed for its final season. I really hoped and I prayed and just in denial said, no, it's not going to be Arrow. It's probably going to be Supernatural. You know, probably going to be Supernatural. But as it turns out, it was Supernatural. And guys, we can sit here and we can get mad and say, oh, it's because of the haters um, and, you know, this or that or the CW canceled them. This, guys, let me clarify, this is not a cancellation. This is the cast and crew, producers and showrunners, deciding to end the show. And that's a totally different thing because the cancellation comes out of nowhere. That's what happened to Lucifer. You know, you don't get a chance to tie things up, give the fans satisfaction. An ending is the cast and the runners making a decision to deliver the best episodic television and storyline that they can in a culmination of a multi-year story in a way that they hope leaves you satisfied, you know. And guys, I'd rather hear about it now than later, you know. This this gives us time to think about it, process it. But guys, in this time of, really in mourning, that's the best way to approach it. In this time of mourning, guys, let's remember to be positive. Let's be sure to be hitting up Twitter and Facebook, tagging the cast and crew, showrunners, Stephen Amell especially, and just thanking them. Guys, they have dedicated almost a decade of their lives to providing this awesome show, which has sprung out 
so many shows that they have said will continue to thrive for years to come. The Arrowverse is not going anywhere yet. We may be seeing the godfather of the Arrowverse settle into retirement. But guys, I think they've earned it. I think Stephen Amell's earned it. Because if a lot of you guys don't know, he has a wife and a kid. And that was one of the main reasons Stephen decided it was time to step down. Because he has a wife and a kid in L.A. He started Arrow as a single man, a recently divorced single man. And as he explained, holding back tears, you know, Arrow took him through a journey of being a recently divorced single man to a happily married man with a child who's about ready to start school. And for all of you who are parents, you guys can understand, you can't be working a full-time job being the lead star of a television show and have your child be in school and be able to properly parent them. You know, I'm not I'm not here to put parenting advice, but you know what? I'd like to take a second to say I respect the hell out of Stephen Amell for making the hard choice of maybe taking a hit to his pride or his ego for his family, for his child. You know what? That makes him one hell of a man from my point of view, and I respect the shit out of him even more. And guys, you know, if we could just hit up in the comments and, you know, especially tag him in Twitter... And, you know, just say thank you. You know, tell them what Arrow's meant to you. Tell them what your favorite scene's been. You know, don't forget the other cast. But, you know, on that note, guys, when it comes to the cast, um, that, I think, is going to be a different story. You know, as as uh, Stephen mentioned, you know, as the show's uh, 17 offspring, and he kind of, <laughs> I'm kidding, it's not that many, it's like 16. Um, just because Arrow is done doesn't mean they're gone. That's the enjoyment of a shared universe. It's like the Marvel movies. Even though Thor or Iron Man or Captain America finished their solo movies, they didn't go anywhere. They still kept coming back, you know? And, guys, I do think we'll see that. We'll continue to see that. And for the extended cast of Arrow, you know, like Felicity, Diggle, uh, Dinah, Renee, you know, et cetera, et cetera, um, I think we will see them redistributed. I, I could see Felicity going over to Flash. You know, because that's the thing, you know, um, if they have it set up to where those characters are still in Star City, but the cast doesn't actually have a show to film all the time, that is able to satisfy a want of both the fans and, and actually the cast members for more small comic book-like crossovers more frequently. You know, a lot of the cast voice their concerns of that's something they missed from the early seasons. And, you know, if you've got that cast around... Um, still wanting to do the shows but they don't have Arrow to film anymore that makes them much more available to be special guest stars on the various other Arrowverse shows you know like I could definitely see Spartan and Wild Dog guest starring on Batwoman you know cause that's the crime drama you know or I could see um, Dinah Drake's Canary going over to Legends for an episode or two with Katie Lotz because they're doing a, a all canary team up birds of prey style episode episode 18 entitled lost canary this season you know so these this is definitely not the end guys it's an evolution the hard part is as a friend of mine actually put it perfectly you know the arrowverse and the mcu are doing the same thing this year just evolving but that's the thing guys these shows they have to evolve they have to keep growing and changing otherwise they're going to die you know, they're going to end unsatisfied, they're going to get stale, and we're not, it's not going to be the thing that we loved, it's just going to be a shell, and guys, I don't want to see that happen, um, so guys, you know, I hope you can understand why I've just, this is coming out so late, it really took me a little bit to process, and a lot of, and a lot of my friends to really, um, really pull me up off my, off my feet, on my feet, or put me on my feet, however you want to say that, but guys, at the end of this, um, after some deliberation, for those of you who know that we do kind of have done some small time fan film clips in the past, after some deliberation, um, we have decided, uh, that, uh, after Arrow finishes up next year, we're going to take a little time, but after that, to try and kind of honor the legacy that Stephen Amell and the Arrow cast and crew have left. Um, we're going to try and start doing monthly 10 to 15 minute ep little uh, serials. 
kind of set in the Arrowverse. Um, basically featuring some Green Arrow stories. That's the best way we kind of came up with to kind of uh, honor who we are, honor our loyalty and our love of the fandom. And honestly, I just it's the best way I know how to use my talents to show respect to the uh, cast, the crew, and everybody involved. Um, so guys, on that note, leave me some comments down below on uh, potential storylines you guys would like to see. It's a little too early for us to even think about writing because we kind of have to see how the show ties up and etc. and where everything's left. Um, but the multiverse awaits, or maybe it doesn't after Crisis. Um, but guys, yeah, I just want to end this video um, seriously by taking a moment. Um, I don't know if the cast and crew of Arrow, um, Stephen Amell, Emily Bett, David Ramsey, any of them ever are going to see this. But from the bottom of my heart, guys, um, thank you. Thank you so much. I started watching Arrow um, at the beginning of high school, and I, I, I took Oliver Queen into my heart. I really did. And my OTA. And you, you guys and the characters you guys have portrayed have carried me through so much in my life. Got me through high school. I was a very awkward and lonely kid in high school. And you guys, the characters and the strength that you guys portrayed showed me how to dig deep and build strength and character in myself. You guys brought me through <laughs> one of the worst heartbreaks of my life. You know, ironically, it was during the time of the Olicity breakup. You know, I'm not even kidding. And even now, guys, as the show is, you know, coming to an end, you guys are bringing me and some of my closest friends who did these fan films in high school back together, and I couldn't thank you more for that. Half of the friendships that I have made have come from you guys and your show and your hard work. And I know you guys probably barely know me, but you guys couldn't mean more to me straight up and for those of you I'm uh, I do get to meet this year which I'm making a big effort now to get to meet the cast of Arrow before it ends um, man I can't wait to just get to know you guys and uh, be able to say thank you um, so yeah guys that's it for me tonight um, uh, if you guys enjoyed this if you agree with anything I say if you found this informative maybe help to calm down or get some facts on the situation please leave a like. Um, if you guys haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I do try to keep you guys up to date on stuff like this. Um, and then guys, leave your comments down below. What's, you know, what's been your favorite moment? What was your initial reaction to this news? Uh, comma, what do you think is going to happen? You know, uh, what's, a, what's, uh, how do you think, uh, what do you think the big storyline they're going to end on is? And, uh, guys, let's just, uh, seriously, on uh, Twitter, and even down below, let's just write some thank you notes. Let's just, uh, there's not enough positivity in this world, so let's uh, let's try and show some in this time, and just really uh, let everybody feel the love. Let's band together as a fandom, be the family that we always have been, whether you're Olicity, Laurelver, it, it doesn't matter. We're a family, we're all, you know, united in the common love of Arrow, and don't let that stop now. So guys... My name is David. I think I've rambled long enough, and I am I am really emotionally tired, and I think it's time for bed. But uh, otherwise, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a better night.